Silvery leaf plants are incredibly valuable in the landscape. The bright softening effect of all the silvery leaves is terrific, especially if you need to brighten up dull areas in your garden and if you can plant them in mass displays. All of that bright silvery foliage definitely softens and mellows the scheme. Here at Overly Vest, we like the way that it contrasts so beautifully with dark foliage plant like this purple leaf nine bark here. We love the contrast in texture and color. We also know that silver is a great color for neutralizing other clashing colors. Take for example this pink color, see how it's fighting with bright yellow? Add in some silver and the whole effect is softened and neutralizing. Very important. And throughout history, garden designers and landscape architects have used a lot of silver in their scheme. Gertrude Jekyll used them in a lot of her cottage style displays and English displays when she was laying out her gardens. Christopher Lloyd at Great Dixter used them too. And of course, Vita Sackville West used them in her famous white garden at Sissinghurst. Today, they're very valuable for planting things like moon gardens and places, as I say, where you need to brighten and lighten up the scheme. Here, we love the fact that this hardy, compact little willow is available from first editions. This is Salix Iceberg Alley, a selection that was developed at the Memorial University of Newfoundland and the Labrador Botanic Gardens. It's a fantastic selection of a hardy native species, a species that grows in our northern states and well up into Canada, a species, believe it or not, that is hardy to zone two. So it's a very tough, hardy, reliable little shrub that will bring a lot of very bright, silvery, cheery display to your garden. Because it's a willow, it's very easy to grow and will grow on a wide variety of soil types, just about everywhere except for very dry, gravelly sites. It's likely to burn up there. So give it an average soil, or better still, somewhere that's a little on the damp side, and you're going to get lots of luxuriant growth. Now, like willows, it of course carries little pussy willows, carries little catkins in early spring, and they continue right through to early summer, as you see, where it's still carrying catkins, even though it's flushed now with lots of this glorious silver foliage. So this is a really exciting, we think, a little shrub that's got a very bright future in more ways than one. It's from first editions, and this variety is called Salix Iceberg Alley, named after the area along the Newfoundland coast where apparently people go to watch icebergs float by when they break off from glaciers and float out to sea. So a very kind of picturesque name for a fabulous plant that we think has really got a lot of potential going forward. This is Salix Iceberg Alley from first editions.